Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Now, I haven't touched the game since the last episode, and there's really no point for me to be touching it anyway because I've played the game through like tons of times. I'm just doing it for you guys at this point, just so you guys can kind of get a feel of what's going on within the game and just to see how things are. Now, we've got news. Today, the new game platform, Master, B Master V by Vena, has been released. It's another one of those consoles we're not going to be touching. Uh, it's just the way things are. We have a game that is is doing pretty well. But we want to go ahead. Let's see what we can do. See if we can research anything. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and start researching. I can't remember if in the last episode or not or, or whatever. If... I think I did make a uh, custom back game engine. Pretty sure I did. I need, really need to like watch the videos before I come here. So we've successfully researched game tutorials. The recently released gaming console, Master V by Vena, has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Which I'm, I, I guess that kind of makes sense because Honestly, I, I, I don't even know what this is a playoff of. If you guys know, you can hit it up and down in the section below, in the comment section below, and let me know. Uh, closest thing I can say, it looks. It's not an Atari. It's not an Atari. I know that much. Which we didn't really even get an Atari, so. I think it could be an Atari. I don't know. I doubt it. So we've done pretty good with that one. That was our first mature game. Did pretty well. Can we research? Yeah, let's research mono sound because sounds sounds a big thing. The further along you get in the game, you want better sound quality. You want better video quality. So you're gonna want to keep doing that kind of stuff. And it's not really taking a long time to do this, but we're also not losing a ton of money because we're working out of a garage. It's whenever you move. And you guys will see that soon enough. Whenever you move into a different area. Let's research a new topic. Now, I know that sports and business simulation games do really well. And school does okay. Um, everyone. It's more of a youth kind of... Let's, let's make a youth game. That that sounds like it would be a pretty good idea. Let's, let's research school so that we can... Because... Who doesn't want to, like, do a school simulation game when you're in school? Because it doesn't do well with everyone. It's not going to do well with mature audiences either. It's going to do well with the youth audience, even though I haven't e exactly got that, uh, that research there. But it's, it's, it's definitely more of a youth-oriented thing. We get two pluses with everyone. Mature is going to be, like, a, a plus one or negatives completely so we're gonna do a school let's do a school adventure game maybe it'll make it a little bit because the school simulation game would be absolutely crappy let's put this on the mm, I don't have the licensing for this one but it's the best thing for youth so we're, <laughs> we're gonna get it we're gonna get the the tests and we're gonna use our Vista custom engine. What can we call this? A school adventure. School adventure. The journey to the girls locker room. No. <laughs> to the girls showers. Cause that's even better than the locker room. It's it's the showers to the girls' showers. Actually, that should be. Cause it's just one girl. We want more girls. We we want more than one girl to see. So we're gonna go over, go over. Thank you to the girls' showers. There's gonna be 2D graphics. Cause you know we're gonna see some. Uh, 2D graphic, uh, some Tomb Raider-esque boobage. That's what I want to say. <laughs> that was pretty bad. All those go down. Story quest goes up. 
It's gonna be a linear story. Of course, it's gonna be a linear story. We're just going to the the ladies' shower room at the the, the local grade school. We're not pervy, pedophile whatsoever. Dialogue goes up because obviously you want the most dialogue that you can possibly get out of your peephole crew, right? Yeah. New research available. Casual games. I don't like casual games at all. Do not like casual games. 100%. Put that down to about 80. No sound. We're still keeping a basic sound though. Hopefully this does well because we sunk a lot of money in to just getting the tests. Recent market data shows that the Govador 64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. It's going to go out of business, obviously. Commodore 64 didn't last very long. Well, in comparison, at least to the PC. So that's done. Let's see what we get out of this. We got a new record in design. Do we level anything up? We leveled up our 2D graphics version 2. So let's release. So we have 2D graphics version 3 and 3D graphics version 1. We want both of those if we can possibly get them. We also want to generate a game report because this has stuff involved in it that I don't currently have information on. Let's see what our reviews are going to say. The first reviews for our newly released game, The Journey to the Girls' Showers, came in. Oh, come on. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. We almost got tens across the board for a pervy pedophile game. That's, that, to me, is absolutely hilarious. Oh, Jesus, it's going to be a bestseller. Look at the units sold. Holy crap. The journey to the girls' showers has achieved a company sales record with over 100,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Grave Ender Gaming. Because it lets the public know just what we're all about. We're all about peeping toms in the little girls' shower rooms. Congratulations, you have made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. Holy crap, that first week. 964.3 K 964,300 we have 1.2 million off of just that one game we are absolutely rolling in the cash flow right now off of a pervy pedophile game We're moving on up. <laughs> wow. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. I, that blows my mind. Our post-release analysis of the journey to the girls' showers is complete, and we got the following results. Engine seems to not be important for this type of game. That I know. Topic, audience, match, school, young, great. Sweet. Now we need to... God, it's number one on the top. It's There's so many pervy people back in the day. We have to train in staff management, though. So, so many dirty, dirty people. Today, Nimvento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called the Gamelink. The device comes with changeable games, game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiple and even multiplayer support via connection cable. Who didn't love Pokemon? Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the Gamelink is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. I was more of like the console type of person. I don't 
as far as I can ever remember, I don't remember having a Game Boy. Um, just because it was just a, an extra added luxury whenever it was like... My parents were always like, if you've got one, you don't need another one. So, whenever I, like we would get new systems, they would take them and, and give the old ones away to like friends of the family or family members who couldn't afford to get that kind of stuff. So, whenever we got like the, the Nintendo... They took the Atari, they gave it away. Whenever we got the Super Nintendo, they took the Nintendo and and gave it away. Whenever, actually, I think I had a Super Nintendo and a Sega all at the same time. But when the PlayStation One came out, it was the Super Nintendo and the the Sega were gone, and I I don't want to get into it. I miss those. I would have loved to have had those still yet. The gambling is said to hit shelves next month. Okay, so now we're going to work it out so we can hire someone. The Journey to the Girls Showers, the newest game by Grave Ender Gaming, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. I wonder what kind of client base we have here. Industry professionals say that the Journey to the Girls Showers is one of these rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. Yeah, the next one will definitely be mature. <laughs> It seems that Grave Ender Gaming really has made gaming history with the Journey to the Girls Showers. Well done. We're, uh, that was a joke. This was a complete joke. I wasn't meaning any like success out of this, but apparently the, the gaming community is a bunch of perverts. Oh, Jesus. The next one that we do is definitely not going to be the, uh, the sequel to this game. Well done, you've successfully completed your management course and you are now able to hire your very first employee. To get started, close this message and click the fill position button which is visible near the big desk. I don't want to yet. I do not want to yet. I want to research. Ooh. Let's do 3D graphics. Let's start researching 3D graphics, the first version. Because we really need to get that kind of stuff developed anyway and get it out there. This game is off the charts, man. We have made so much money. Let's, uh, where's it at right now? We have, we put $76,000 into this game and we made $3 million. We have made $3 million off of this one game. The perviest game in the world. And it almost scored a 100. Today, the new game platform, Gameling, by Ninvento has been released. We're going to stay away from that one, too. Just, I can't believe that. The Journey to the Girl's Shower is now off the market. It sold 453,590 units, generating $3,175,158 in sales. I'm glad that's gone now. A bunch of perverts. Everybody's perverts. Let's research a new topic. Yeah, let's do vampire. Let's do vampire. I might not do this one mature, actually. I think mature would be a good, a good topic for vampires. So let's... Let's do and develop a new game. Do mature vampires. Action on the PC. It's only got two, but whatever. We're gonna use our Vista engine. And we are going to title this Bloodletting. Oh no. I don't know what I was thinking when I came up with the last title for a game either, but apparently it's scored big time with a certain community of people. Do that. We don't need a linear story because we don't have a story quest whatsoever right now. That'll just save us some money. Well, not that exactly we need to save money, but no dialogue. We need artificial intelligence out the butt and level design. And 
and we need no world design, tons of graphics, and 80% or so sound. So that all looks good. Let's see. Uh, with the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. New research available marketing. Marketing is a big, huge thing in this game. I'm not gonna lie, it's absolutely massive and it comes in very, 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 very handy if you have the money to be able to do it because it costs a lot too. I didn't. Most of the other games that I do, I don't really get into the marketing scheme until, like, there's tens of millions of dollars in revenue backed up. Because um, you get free marketing from doing interviews, and you get free marketing from conventions. The conventions are the biggest things. You definitely want to make sure that you have a game in development being worked on whenever you go to a convention. Because it's going to make the hype go through the roof. We got bugs. We got so many bugs, it's not even funny. If this one does well, I thought that was a bug. I thought that was a design thing. If this game does well, I might consider getting an employee. I just don't like losing money. I don't know how well it's going to do, though. We didn't really get a lot of stuff overall from that. We leveled up story quest, dialogue, graphics. And that's it. So let's release it. New research available, simple cutscenes, and better dialogue. Better dialogue is a good thing to have. What are we going to get on this one? The first reviews for our newly released game, Bloodletting, came in. Seven. Not bad. Seven. Ooh. Six. I thought it was going to be a five. That's not good at all. So, a, a pretty mediocre, but it should allow us to make enough money to uh, be able to hire someone. Let's generate the game report. So, I'd, I'd say let's, let's check it out here. It's probably going to go back over three million. Vena, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear, a portable console directly compete against the gaming for an Invento. So I guess the Master V was made by Sega? Because that's a Sega Game Gear. Yeah, the Vena Gear, the, the Game Gear. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't remember anything that Sega produced anything before the Genesis, to be honest. A spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, that gaming consoles, the Vena Gear has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full color screen. That was absolutely amazing. One of my cousins had one of these. Like I said, I didn't have the handhelds, but one of my cousins had one of these, and I absolutely loved going to her house just so I could play her game gear, because she wasn't allowed to. She was only allowed to play it like an hour a day. If she was lucky. But when company came over, which was me, you could play it whenever you wanted to. And it was absolutely awesome. Will this device topple the gambling? We will see. The Vena Gear will debut in two months. And we didn't go back over 3 million. Our post release analysis of bloodletting is complete, and we got the following results Vampire and Action is a great combination, so that's good. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. We know that already. Yeah, let's fill the position. I want someone who can do showreels. And we are going to actually spend out 100k. Let's start looking. The higher, the more money that you put into that, the higher the levels that you're going to get back as far as searching goes. Like this right here, you're going to see these numbers are going to be a lot higher the more money that you put in. And you're going to also have more choices. So we got 179 and 20, 376 and 23. We're, yeah, we're, we're going with this one. Medium games. Now, you need to always remember when you get new people, staff welcome training. 
get it done or else it's going to be awful because it's going to give them something to do and then you want to start working on a game as soon as they come in because then it'll fill that meter up a lot quicker so we are going to develop a new game let's pick a topic first let's do them let's let me look at my game history first so we did a vampire action school adventure horror action mystery RPG surgery simulation Wild West Adventure Military Action Detective Adventure What was Wild West Adventure that didn't do too well because it was Wild West and Adventure didn't do well together so today the new game platform Vena Gear by Vena has been released let's do a Wild West Mature those two work well together you can see it right there mature and let's do an action game maybe the action will work better and we'll call this uh, blue life um, redemption that's not a play on anything that's not a play on anything at all this is gonna definitely need to be on a PC because that is where the mature audience is at. So we're going to do that. Let's check it out. 2D graphics version 2. Yes. How much? This is all going to be the same because we did an action game in the last one. So no issues there. But you can see. Bloodletting is now off the market. It sold 30,553 units. Generating 2,113 and... 8.99 in sales so not nearly as good as peeking in the girl shower room but you can see his his little bar is going to start filling up more and that's a good thing because we want him to adjust fully to everyone your newer people are going to adjust to the new guy a lot quicker than the new guy is going to adjust to them but things start getting done faster and you get more points in things whenever you have more people so it gives you more overall towards your, your final um, experience gained. So we leveled up engine, gameplay, and I leveled up myself. So let's release the game. Better user experience is now available. Let's generate a game report for Blue Life Demption. And we get the reviews in. This is better than the last Wild West game we did, so that's a good thing. Seven. Seven. We're going to get sevens across the board. Sevens across the board. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So now we want you to, in two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. Kind of expected that to happen really soon anyway, but... So we're making our money back off of that one. That's not bad. We are at ranked, so that's good. You want your games to be ranked. We need to do, well, post-release analysis of Blue Life Demption is complete, and we got the following results. Engine seems to be very, I really wanted to know what worked well with Wild West. Not that junk. Let's do some contract work, and we might be able to get this. Hardware manuf manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Govador failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. So we ain't got to worry about it because we're not making games for it anyway. Can we do it? I don't know. Dude scratching his head. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, we lost that one. Dude was sitting there scratching his head. Well, we only lost 5,000. That contract work. He's good in design. He should be able to help us more on this one, but our guy's scratching his head, so that doesn't help anything at all. Anytime they start scratching their head, you know things are really bad. Uh, Blue Life Demption is now off the market. It sold 31,530 units, generating $220,000.74 in sales. So not so bad. 
I really want to get. We're close to it, too. No, I want contract work. I want to get the 80 that I need to get the next thing to get the uh, 2D graphics in the next version. And we're not going to get it on this one. Not going to get it on this one. So we need to figure out, we need to research a new topic, movie simulation. I love this is a throwback to one of my favorite uh, PC games back in the day, the movies. I love that game. That's what we're going to call this one, too. We'll call it the movies because I'm a complete total ripoff and nostalgia purposes and things like that. But the movies was an absolute awesome, awesome PC game back in the day. Oh, I don't know how long ago. Okay, I've actually got it on the shelf sitting right over here across from me, but love, love, love that game. It's called the movies. Gonna be E for everyone. Be a movies simulation, and we're gonna do it on PC with the Vista. And it's a great combo, so that's good. 2D graphics version, whatever that we have. We need gameplay up, story and quest down. This right about there is good enough looks pretty good to me and we're gonna do the next one I wonder if this is gonna look pretty good because things are more a little bit more heavy design wise on this one so we're looking pretty decent for him to do really well and now we're going more technology so might even out things a little bit more world design graphic sound that stayed the same for the simulation and the action those two did are we going to get any new records? Bugs gone. Done. Let's produce this game. And we have a new record in design, so that's good. We leveled up level design, artificial intelligence, world design, and sound. Well, any idea why, we, why world design got leveled up? I haven't used world design in like, forever. We got a level editor and open world, which are really good things to have. Let's generate the game report. The first reviews for a newly released game, the movies came in. Let's see how this does. Eight, good. Nine, good. Seven, not so good. Give us a 10 to round things out. Yeah, we're going to get a 7. Get another 7. So not too bad on two of them. And let's see how this turns out. Are we going to go back over 3 million is the question. Uh, story quest seems to not be very Quentin. Yeah, we know that. It's still new. A few more games in the team will have higher potential. So you got to get a couple of games under your belt too for the for everything to work out properly. We need to go back up over three million though. We've already started making more money off of it than we put into it. I don't know why we're not back over three million. Oh well, we're actually rolling in the money though, so that's not a bad thing. Let's. I was going to end it there, but you, this is another key factor you guys want to keep in mind. Anytime this little bar starts to show up after they've done their, their little intro stuff, that means that they need to go on vacation. The sooner you send them on vacation, the sooner they're going to come back. You let it get all the way down into the red and things are not going to work out very well for you. You're going to be down a complete team. Ooh, this is a good place to leave off on. We'll get back into this one. As soon as we get back, Vena has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Vena Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. This was my favorite. Favorite gaming system of all time, the Sega Genesis. Vena said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the 
the genesis, quote unquote, the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. I like that the uh, new, it will be the genesis, genesis, the Sega Genesis, yeah. So alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later. I'm sipping coffee from a paper cup. Lying.